Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 2 Pleasant View. Yeah. Okay, so today we are back with the Broke family, and usually, uh, because I've been going in order of the families, today was originally supposed to have been um, Angela, Lilith, Dirk, and Dustin at college, our little college kids, but here's the thing. I am trying to wrap up Pleasant View Season 1, which I know is so sad, and I know so many of you are already like, I'm going to miss this series so much. Don't worry, I'm going to have a Season 2, but I want to wrap Season 1 up because I have so so much stuff I want to add to my channel and I need to wrap this up in order to bring new things to the channel if that makes sense and I feel like we're at a very good stopping point in a lot of our family's lives um, the only exception to that is the college kids that we have um, I have been playing a little bit off camera with them just trying to get them up to their senior year because I did want to end the season with them graduating proposals whatnot them starting their career I wanted it to be like a milestone for every family so I decided to skip them and this weekend I'm going to play through right now they're in their junior year of college I'm going to try to get them halfway through their senior year and then we can celebrate their graduation and everything together Together, and that be the grand finale of Pleasant View. So yeah, since we skipped them, that brings us back here to the Broke family, which sadly this will be the last part with the Broke family for the first season. And I have a lot of goals <laughs> that I wanted to accomplish with each family and y'all, sorry I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, mostly for Brandy and the kids. I really want her to get engaged. I really wanted her to get married. Um, but I think we'll just end with an engagement and then by the time we pick up in season two, maybe they're married, they have a child. I don't know, but I don't want to like have them propose and then elope immediately. I kind of just want to, you know, just enjoy the proposal and that be a wrap, you know? So, Craig is awake, and I'm going to have him come in here and clean up around the house a little bit before Brandy wakes up. Um, does he have a cooking skill? Please tell me he does. Probably not. No, not really. Okay, crap. So, I need Brandy to get up and cook us breakfast, unless, unless we have some leftovers. So, anyways, you guys, sorry. I'm going to try so hard not to talk so fast and so much <laughs> because, um, one, I'm full, two, I'm getting bigger and bigger in the belly and the whole out of breath thing is a problem. <laughs> so I know it's kind of annoying to hear me like <gasps> gasping for breath. So yeah, bear with me, but it looks like we have some, um, what is this leftover? Is that omelet? So that's good. Brandy, um, she's still sleeping, but does she have work today? Let's see, she um, does, she works at five, and he, yeah, we did establish this, he is a fast food shift manager, he works at five too, so they both go to work at the same time, so, anyways, I'm probably going to let her sleep for a few more minutes, it's Tuesday, so the boys both have school, um, as far as the boys go, um, they're doing good, you know, I, I do want to kind of like focus on them, but for now, since they are like second generation of our game, or technically, would it be third? Would the teens be f second generation, right? Yeah, and this would be the third generation, I believe. Or at least Bo is. <laughs> um, he, I don't know if I'm going to send him to college. I don't know. I know it gives them a really negative um, memory if they don't go to college. But he just aged up, so he has a while to go. Maybe we can invite over his friend Chloe. Kind of want to get him established and having some relationships in his life, but for now, I'm just gonna have him get up and get ready for school. Brandy is awake, where is she going? No, I just built you on this shower, so she's thinking of engagement. She doesn't know it's coming today, but it's coming. I'm probably gonna take them somewhere nice. It's very snowy, it's maybe like a park or something and have him do like a nice little engagement there, and then she can go on to um, work afterwards, so. We have a little bit of time to do that while the boys are at school. He looks like he's cleaning the shower, which is really nice. Oh, we gotta stay on top of their homework. Um, which one is his? Okay. I hate how they sit their homework from the desk, which is logical, right? But 
For some reason, when you set it on the desk like that, if it's on that side of the desk, you can't get to it. It's so confusing. It's kind of weird, but... Wow, little Ethan is so smart. Look at how much logic skill he has. That's impressive. It really is. But anyways, all right, stop playing, and you come, and let's ask Brandy for some homework help. Hopefully, we can get it done before we have to go to school. No. Yeah, he's probably not going to be able to finish it before he goes off to school, but that'll be okay at least. He'll get a little bit of a head start, so when he comes home from school today, he won't have, like, a ton of homework to do. Because, you know, it just tends to pile up here on The Sims 2. But, anyways, I'm just really proud of Brandy. And it's so, like, heartwarming, <laughs> really, to just think about how we started the series of Pleasant View. Her and Dustin and Bo was actually a toddler. She found out she was pregnant with Ethan. They were in their little trailer. They were struggling. She didn't have a job. And now she's got a beautiful house. She's met the man of her dreams. And her boys, she's so, so incredibly proud of them. Dustin is doing amazing in college. He's about to graduate. And these two are, you know, kind of following in their brother's footsteps as far as being ambitious. And, yeah, she's thinking of a kid. I, I don't know about a kid, Brandy. Let's, like, um... Let's, um, okay, okay. I was thinking that I'm not going to have her have another child because she is a few days away from becoming an elder. Or not really a few, it's like 15 days. But Mr. Craig here, he's a little bit younger than Brandy. And he wants a child of his own to carry on his last name. And his last name is Ray. So we need to have a child for him just for the sake of him having a child. So Brandy is done. Okay, let's put away these leftovers before they spoil and we won't have any. Craig, how are you doing? All right, so I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go somewhere with Brandy. So where can we go? In Pleasant View, we have this nice pretty park here. Blue Water Village. Um, let's see. We have Hunter's Park. I think what I want to do is just go to the Woodland Park here in Pleasant View. And, yeah, Brandy, I wonder if she's suspicious. Does she know that he's about to propose to her? I don't know, but she's been thinking about it. She is ready for this moment, and I'm so happy for her. Her aspiration meter is already through the roof, and it's about to skyrocket all over again <laughs> if he proposes to her. All right, so we're at Woodland Park, and I was thinking that maybe we could ice skate on this pond, but we can't. So there's really not a lot for us to do. She's like, okay, what are we doing here? Kind of looks like you could, though. Doesn't that look like ice skate marks? <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to have him just kind of give her a nice romantic little kiss. Um, maybe we can propose on the bridge right here. Oh, uh, maybe not because I want to make sure I get a good screenshot. <laughs> so maybe over here in front of the pond. Oh. No, the snow is starting to melt. That looked so beautiful. Okay, crap. All right, well, still, we're going to go here. I'm going to have Brandy come over here, too. All right, he's going to give her another kiss, and then I'm going to have him propose the engagement. Oh, oh, Father Silo. Oh, Aw, so that was cute. I'm glad we got the little, um, the little split screen <laughs> there. That was really sweet. So, she wants to get married. She is, she wants to have a wedding party. Yeah, okay, well, maybe I'll do that off camera before the second season starts since she does want to have a wedding party so bad, but he is grinning from ear to ear, he just cannot believe that he gets to marry this beautiful woman that she said yes. You know, she is a little bit older than him, a few years, but it doesn't matter. He met her and thought, okay, she's beautiful, first off. Second off, she's dead gum the strongest woman he's ever met. You know, look at the boys that she's raised, the children that she's raised. And he knew immediately that this was the woman he wanted to spend the rest of his life with and to be the mother of his children. So that is so sweet. Ah, I love it. But anyways, um, 
yeah, that was a good time, good time. But they both do have work today, so I'm going to have them go ahead and go back home because there's really nothing else to do here, you know. So let's go back home. That way we can pick up and go to work. All right, so I know this is like a little bit filthy of me, but whatever, you know. It's a sentimental moment. They just got engaged, and they have like a few hours to spare before the kids get home. So they're going to celebrate by doing a nice little woohoo. <laughs> uh, oh, she's thinking about adopting. Oh, she, I mean, girl, you you hardly got room for another child now. Come on, girl, calm down. <laughs> but I, I do. I think I am going to have them have one more just for Craig's sake. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, let's go ahead and do the little dirty. Let's do the little woohoo. We're not going to try for a baby yet. Not yet, but I do want them to, you know, seal the deal here. Yeah! <laughs> 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 they're so in love it's so cute i love how in the sims 2 when they get engaged the rings are on their finger and i think it's kind of funny that the male <laughs> has a ring too because typically you know the woman is the one that gets the engagement ring but just it's kind of like them being married so i like that little detail you know there's just the little details in this in the sims 2 you know that that i miss so much but all right, y'all can wake up because y'all do have to go to work soon. And I want to make sure Brandy um, comes in here and she cleans up a little bit. And I want to have her serve some probably chili con corn. That way the boys will have... Oh, she might want to get out of her underwear. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she does not need to be in her underwear. Her little whitey tidies when the boys come home. They're going to know what she was up to. <laughs> So I'm gonna have her change into her every day and then come in here and serve up that chili. And looks like Craig is taking him a little bath. He's he's getting the nasty off. That's so gross, I'm so sorry. I'm like a pervert. <laughs> I low key am, but <laughs> don't mind me. Anyways, um, oh, we need to pay our bills, it looks like, too. Right, so Bo is home from school and he is doing extremely well. Oh my goodness, his fun is not doing well though. He's kind of struggling, but he is coming in here to brag to his mom about his, is it an A plus? A, A report card. So she's proud. She really is. I know it doesn't look like it. She looks like she's ignoring him, but, oh, excuse me. I got like indigestion. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, sorry, I'm confused. I'm confusing myself. I'm all over the place. I'm going to call over Chloe because I really want to focus on him and his relationships as well. And, you know, I think he kind of has a little crush on Chloe. What was his turn-ons again? Fitness and makeup. I don't know. Is he attracted to her? I don't, did I check that? Maybe we haven't even checked. He might not even be attracted to her, honestly, but we're going to see. How nice of you to invite me. I'll just gussy up and come right over. Is this burnt? As good as a cookie you are, did you burn this? I can't, it kind of looks burnt, but I can't really tell. But anyways, I'm going to have him come clean up a little bit, and he's laughing. Why are you laughing at Craig? <laughs> he's like, oh, wow, so y'all are engaged. Wow, you're here to stay. You're uh, There's no getting rid of you now, is there? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I think they, they do really like him. Um, they don't have, like, the closest relationship. They haven't had much time to bond. Brandy and Craig's relationship is kind of like taken off and went a little fast, but that's okay. The boys are just happy to see their mom happy, but Chloe is so cute. Her eyes and her little cheeks. All right, um, I know, I know, I know, I know you really need to have some fun, but can we... I want to flirt. I want to check her out just to see how much of an attraction that he has to her and then maybe we can like um play some um toss the football or something is he not a, oh okay wow I, mm, okay so he's not attracted to her i think she's cute he doesn't think she's cute for some reason i mean he might think she's cute but maybe he just sees her as a friend you know that's okay oh my god she is so cute Bo. 
Look at her little outfit. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, okay, well, I guess they're gonna go toss the football. Where are y'all going to toss the football is the question, though. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna have to get out. I guess we can come join her and sit and watch TV because he really needs to have some fun. All right, carpool is about to arrive for Brandy and Craig. Um, yeah, so I guess we can just you know, chat with Chloe. I was like, going to work on him being like romantic and having his first kiss, but doesn't look like it's going to be with Miss Chloe here, but that's okay. We'll get out and meet some, meet some new teens and possibly see if, you know, there's a relationship in the future with that. But Ethan is home. He doesn't know any kids. We really need to make some friends. He hasn't brought anybody home from school yet. But I'm going to have him come and use the restroom and take a shower. And his fun is down too. we got to work on our homework. But we can't do that with our fun all the way down. You know. So <laughs> Brandy's in here like, oh, a girl? You got it. You brought a girl home? And I'm like, oh. She's just trying to embarrass him. He's like, mom, are you serious? Ew. <laughs> They're just kind of like, she's like, look. Wow, mom, I love you, but let's not. <laughs> Okay, so anyways, yeah, I know, I know you're struggling, you really are. Come over here and play the computer. Oh, I forgot, we have our nanny, but we can probably dismiss her, actually, because um, we have a teenager in the house now, so we technically don't really need her services anymore, so I'm going to go dismiss her, just because it's kind of costing us money that we don't really have or really like need right now the packed movie theater down the street just let out and craig's restaurant is packed one might think they'd be full after those absurdly sized movie drinks but no such luck he's barking orders left and right when suddenly the unthinkable happens the uber burger 3000 breaks down in an entirely ungraceful puff of smoke now the restaurant smells like charcoal and there isn't a burger in sight should he try to keep going without the Uber burger or take the repair into his own hands? I think, I don't think, I don't know if he's very like mechanically skilled, but I feel like if he was taking the time to fix the stove and he possibly doesn't have the skills to do that, that he would make things worse. Maybe who needs burgers because you can have fries or something. I hope I don't get him fired. Oh God, I'm so scared. Who needs burgers anyway? While his staff out front is explaining the situation, Craig makes an emergency run and begins preparing some of his ultra-secret recipe veggie mite burgers. What? Who needs burgers anyways, but still he, um, he makes veggie burgers? Huh? I'm confused. <laughs> the ravenous hordes of customers are so hungry that they'll try anything, but once they've tried his burgers, okay, so they're not like really burgers, they just can't get enough. When Craig's manager, Jenny, arrives and sees the hundreds of happy customers, it's clear to her that Craig's true calling is in the kitchen. Jenny pulls Craig aside and helps him get a job as a host at a real sit-down dining establishment. Ooh, okay. So, Craig has been promoted to host. Have you ever... Wait, if you never see another burger again, it'll be too soon. Now you're out of the kitchen, seating people and managing tables in a restaurant where people expect real food for the prices they're paying. Keep your eyes open and your smile painted on as you start learning about the industry. It's a dog-eat-food world out here, and you'll want to be well prepared. Okay, so that was the good choice. That was a good choice. All right, so basically he got home early since he got a promotion, so... All right, yes, it's snowing, I know, wow. Let's get the mail and make sure we take care of that. And I'm just trying to get the boys fun up a little bit. I'm trying my dig on my hardest to have them, you know, stay on top of their grades. But y'all, y'all know this struggle. Y'all know this struggle, it is such a struggle. Such a struggle in The Sims 2 to do any of that with this freaking skill situation. So I'm gonna have him, he is super tired. I know, I know you are, but, oh, I mean, can we not do that on the rug? <laughs> really? Okay, so Ethan just finished his homework, or at least one of them, and he is going to bed, and I have Bo and Craig kind of bonding because I know it, it, it helps a little bit. Oh, see, they're friends now. That was such good bonding. He's helping him with his homework, so 
everything worked out well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think he's pretty much on top of his. I think, yeah, he's on top of his, so that's good. All right, I'm gonna have him come and join Chloe because she is still here, and I guess we can probably like talk to her because he does have the want to be friends with her. So, I mean, if they're not attracted to each other, they can at least, oh, can he cuddle with her? Is that weird? I mean, she's like, no. Um, okay, yeah, that's not right, okay? Basically, you're not attracted to her, and now you're trying to cuddle with her. What's wrong with you, boy? You just want them pants, don't you? I, such a, such a dog. <laughs> But anyways, um, at least let's have him get up his fun a little bit. He really needs to talk, though. Oh, maybe we can play, like, Red Hands. Get that social and fun up. I'm trying my hardest here, y'all, but Brandy has returned from work, and she is stinky. So we're going to have her go take a shower. And in order for her to get a promotion herself, she needs to gain a skill in creativity. So I need to work on that so we can... Um, yeah, I keep our promotions going. And is this working? Are we working on our, our social? She does not. What is wrong with you? Do you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Like, you want to play something? I'm just trying to get my fun and social up. You understand? All right. She's all for that. All right, I'm going to have him, um, I guess, say goodbye to Chloe. I don't know if she's leaving or not, but um, we got her social up a little bit at least. But we need to say goodbye to her, and then I'm going to have him come in here and go to sleep. Where is Brandy? Oh, okay, she's still taking a bath. I'm going to have her just go ahead and go to sleep as well. And you guys, since I've basically been doing nothing but <laughs> wrapping up this story, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. It's probably a little bit shorter than usual, but I had a goal, and it was to have Brandy get engaged by the end of the season. She has a house. She has a career. Her boys are doing fantastic. She's a proud mom. I love this woman. I think she's so strong and an inspiration to many single moms out there. And, yeah, I am going to miss her. I hope y'all have enjoyed watching Brandy and the Broke story unfold and this will not be the last you see of them don't worry we are going to do a season two not sure how long that's going to be I'm not going to say it's like anytime soon because I have a lot I want to bring to my channel but don't forget about us here at the Broke family because you will be seeing us again but yes I have a few more families that we need to wrap things up with so we have a few more weeks of Pleasant View but ultimately it's coming to its close so hope you guys enjoyed if you did give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you have not and with that being said i will talk to y'all later bye